Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to Ustazah Salwa. Today I will be presenting my chosen study in this research which is exploring the involvement of Bugis community in developing Bugis tradition for cultural tourism in Johor, Malaysia from chapter 1 until chapter 3. So, there is a few of topic that I will highlight in this slide which are background of study, problem statement, research question and research objective, significant study, literature review, conceptual framework, research methodology, instrument as well as data analysis. As culture tourism is my main highlight in my research study, thus in the background of study, I will explain the general definition culture tourism in the worldwide Malaysia and focus it to my specific study which is Bugis culture itself. So according to World Tourism Organization WTO in 1985, culture tourism can be defined as people traveling to the cultural destination outside of their usual residence in order to gather new information and experience to meet their cultural needs. So in the worldwide of tourism industry, culture and tourism is completely connected. The attraction, sites, an event that related to the culture of the destination become an important motivators for the tourists to travel which can generate to their culture. As stated by Richard in 2018 and shown in figure 1, the cultural tourism has increased from fewer than 100 in 1990 to more than 6,000 in 2016 for its resources. The advancement was primarily rapid among 2005 and 2015 and cultural tourism publication increased as a percentage of all tourism publication reaching nearly 5% by 2017. As Malaysia itself has a diverse ethnic population such as Chinese, Indians, Dayaks and other immigrant Asian ethnicities, Malaysia has been stated as one of the world's 12 mega diverse countries that recognize the value of sustaining its social, environmental and cultural assets by the World Trade Organization. So, Malaysia become a long tourism tradition by attracting tourists with their unique architecture, arts and craft, traditional attires and traditional foods that represent a colorful heritage and culture in this country. And Bugis Malaysia is one of the largest community in Malaysia which is around half a million people and in Johor there is around of 200,000 people of Bugis itself. However, as the post-colonial Malaysia state does not recognize different Malay ethnicity, the amount of Bugis generation is unknown. So it can be linked to the SDG 11 which is about sustainable cities and communities. It can be as a guide for today's people in Johor, Malaysia to strengthen efforts to protect and safeguard the world's cultural and natural heritage particularly for the Bugis community as their local youth. For the problem statement, there are three issues regarding to the loss of Bugis culture in Johor, Malaysia, which is the issue of identity integration is still not going well as the way things are set up. So the identity of Bugis itself will be lost. As example, Bugis people are known as the ethnic that good in making technology in sailboat and weaving silk fabric. But today, community in Pontian, they likely more engaged in economic activities such as business and agriculture. Second is the existing of intermarriage between ethnic group have been influenced Bugis community especially among the youth today where they cannot understand and speak their tradition language. So the language of Bugis have fed away among their community by the influence of Malay language in the young generation. It is different with the old community that still proud of their self-image through the culture, language and heritage. Lastly, today's generation in Malaysia only known that they come from one races and cultures which is Malay. So it could fade away their own unique identity Entity, language and culture that represent the lineage of their ancestors. As a result, the value of Bugis culture and habit are no longer practiced. For the next slide is my research question, which is have two. The first one is what is the local youth understanding towards the Bugis culture in Johor? And second is how Bugis community involved in reconstructing the identity of Bugis tradition in Johor, Malaysia. So the research objective are to study the local youth understanding towards the identity of Bugis culture in Johor and to explore the Bugis community involvement in reconstruction, the identity of Bugis tradition in Johor, Malaysia. Next is the significant study which are has three aspects according to the aims and objective of my research which are tourism industry. As cultural tourism plays an important role in this tourism industry where it can give a positive impact towards the economic and social of the destination. It also able to build and strengthen the identity of the cultural and historical heritage as well as preserve the destination by facilitate harmony and understanding among the people through the use of culture as an instrument. The income generated by the cultural tourism 
home industry and its supporting businesses has an economic and social impact because cultural tourism activities are closely linked to other sectors of the economy, there is an increase in local production. Second aspect are academic perspective where the studies in this area can provide additional data and input on latest issues that lead to a cultural tourism study and several recommendations from tourism researchers to the other researchers in the future. Lastly is local community as this study is involving the Bogis community in Johor, Malaysia. Thus, indirectly, they are involved in introducing their tradition to researchers in detail such as their language, attires, food and culture. So, it could give benefit towards their economy and identity of their culture as well as it also necessary to identify the communities that can actively participate in tourism activities. Next slide is literature review which is in chapter 2. So this is my literature map which is shown and outlined by reviewing the elite literature study for this research. It starts from the cultural tourism in Malaysia, Bugis culture in Johor, community involvement, Bugis community involvement in Johor and lastly is conceptual framework. As stated by Wen Shi in 2014, Malaysia is a country that comes with a various tradition and heritage building which emphasize its uniqueness that can provide foreign tourists with the best opportunities and experience. Thus, Malaysia has the potential to attract local and international tourists through cultural heritage tourism while also boosting economic growth as a result of its multicultural lifestyle and historical architecture. Then, we focusing on the Bugis culture itself in Johor. According to Andy in 2017, Bugis community is the community that migrate from the region of southwestern Sulawesi that is the Bugis homeland to Malaysia including Johor. So in the past study has highlighted there is a five elements of culture that remain in Johor which are languages, religion, tradition and values and others. Besides, as the research objective is focusing to the Bugis community, local community is playing the important role for the study as their roles could ensure their commercial, social, cultural, psychological, political and economic make sustainability of the tourism industry thus it critically that they play a role in influencing tourism development activity by collaborating with the government as mentioned by Hanafia 2013. The involvement of Bugis community in Johor we can see through the economic activities that they have been involved which is fishery as Bugis community is well known with their skill as the sellers in a long time ago. Lastly is conceptual framework. So this is the conceptual framework that have been used for this study which is adopted from an article symbolism of Sabah Bugis motif, sign and meaning, weapon and textile written by Muhammad Azinuddin and Saiful Akram Cheh Job in 2020. So this conceptual framework is done in knowing the development of the Bugis culture in Johor. So there are three variables that have been used which are history, foreign cultures and the local culture which is involved of the social life of the Bugis people themselves. The history of Bugis can be seen in the context of this study as a primitive in which they live from the standpoint of modern society where traditional and modern factors are visible. Furthermore, prior to their conversion to Islam, the Bugis were influenced by Hindu culture. The third variable that we can see is where the Bugis people do activity in their daily life such as customs, ritual and values until today. Move to the research methodology. The research design that have been used in this study is qualitative method which is also known as the inductive approach where the research use this approach because there is no theory to test. So the researchers will conduct an interview to its Bugis community and local youth in Johor to collect data. The data will be collected only once towards different sample which is known as cross-sectional. So to get sample, there is around 200,000 population of Bugis community in 2019 that I have found in the article. However, the sample that I will use in this study is around 5 to 25 samples of Bugis community including local youth. It can be justified by the town sent in 2013 where the semi-structure or in-deep interviews is required among 5 to 25 samples only. Why instrument that will be used to collect the data is adopted by Kawangit 2015 for the section A, which is demography, where the total item is six, include age, gender, educational background, occupational background, monthly income, and martial status. However, in section B and C is according to Ahmad 2019, where the interview questions are based on the research objective one to study the local use understanding towards the identity of Bugis culture in Johor, and research objective two to explore the Bugis community involvement in reconstruction. Yeah. <laughs>
the identity of Bugis tradition in Johor Malaysia. Both section B and C have five total items. So there will be pre-taste for the instrument by three expertise from tourism and management to get the validity and pilot test with the total three sample for the for the reliability. For the data analysis, both research objective is using the thematic analysis as both is using qualitative research. Lastly, this is the reference that I have been used for my research study in collecting information about the Bugis community in Johor. That's all from me. Thank you.